Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, and man, I've been sitting here thinking for a good like 10-15 minutes now about just why I love this series so much, and I've just really been trying to focus my thoughts on that and really think about it, and I think I figured it out. It's the charm. The charm of this series is like off the charts. I don't know how to explain it. Like for all intents and purposes, this series is a pretty simplistic plot. Different though, it's different. That's a good thing, it's different. It's simplistic, but it's different and it hooks you in. But it's just the charm. The charm of the characters, their interactions, the animation just being top tier and just you feel the love put into it i don't know if you can say that about a lot of series honestly like yeah people work hard on these shows i don't want to downplay that at all that's not my intention at all there's just a charm about this it's like really hard to describe i've been sitting here for a pretty long time trying to figure out exactly why I love this series so much and I think it's that you just you can feel the passion <laughs> that sounds kind of weird to say but you can just kind of feel the passion in like every episode and I think that's a pretty remarkable thing I I think there's a reason why this show is like doing better on like charts for weeks now than like a series like attack on titan or demon slayer when it was airing like there's just something about it there's just something about this series that is just incredible and when i first started to watch it i did not expect it to be like this and i gotta say i'm like beyond pleasantly surprised just the introduction of the two sisters as well juju and sinja or sinju i just butchered her name for a second guys again return of the handy dandy notebook just shinju just the addition of the two sisters i think is really elevating the series too as as well they add a different dynamic that we haven't had and it's honestly like to be honest this show shouldn't be as good as it is like i knew i would like it i knew i would enjoy the show but like it's like quality on another level but yeah the addition of the two sisters i think really elevates the show and we see that in today's episode actually about how shinju is explaining to them about how the cameras work and how she takes the pictures and all that and honestly it's like I, I was kind of fascinated by it in a way, you know, because now that I'm doing videos and all that, cameras have never been more important to me, more relevant to me. So just seeing that, I felt like I was learning something. <laughs> as silly as that kind of sounds, but yeah, I felt like I learned a little something. And I don't know about you guys, but to me, just seeing someone so passionate about something they really care about just grinning from side to side on their face it's just it's kind of heartwarming in a way it really just it makes you happy or at least with me that's how i feel i just i feel happy seeing other people happy and this show just elevates me to the moon in terms of happiness it's crazy but yeah we see in this episode that our gang <laughs> has to go and check out a studio to uh see if they can cosplay in it and of course they pick an abandoned building <laughs> what is this a bad slasher movie but yeah they i don't remember what building it was i don't believe it was a hospital or anything like that but it could have been abandoned school anyway it was an abandoned building and we got to see a side of juju today that uh I didn't know we would see, but we get to find out that she's scared of these places, <laughs> which is of course adorable, you know, 
just what do you expect of course they gotta elevate the cuteness every fucking time it's kind of crazy too honestly like i don't <laughs> it's kind of wild but yeah so gojo goes to comfort her and all that and we get a little bit of her backstory in uh in this scene and we see why she likes cosplaying so much you see she was captivated as a kid watching these anime and shows and all that and she wanted to be these characters which we all have had stuff like that you can't say you weren't on the playground like doing a kami kamehameha wave or freaking <laughs> doing like a rasengan or stuff like that or trying to be a power ranger when you were a little kid like we all had those phases it's really relatable but at some point you do grow up and realize man it's not real but then she found cosplay and with cosplaying you can become anyone you want and i think that is honestly like one of the beauties of this show is that it's doing something as interesting as cosplaying and it's really just showcasing that yeah there's so much creativity and thought and care put into every single thing you do in it like it's not just you put on clothes and fucking pretend to be someone else it's it's kind of like you're becoming them in a way you know and we see that that's what juju wants to do she just wants to become these characters that have inspired her her whole life and honestly i think that's commendable that's that's honestly really cool, you know? It's very relatable when you see something like that. And it just puts a smile on your face. I say that in every review of this show, but that's like that's like my answer every time someone asks me, oh, what do you think about it? It just puts a smile on your face, you know? And they're hard to come by nowadays. <laughs> yeah, and we see that, and she explains to gojo why she ended up picking him of all people because he even says like why did you pick me of all people to make this for you there's tons of other people that could make it and she tells him flat out like she was jealous of marin she saw the cosplay and she just it was love at first sight which touches gojo you can see it on his face <laughs> the man the man literally starts crying about it he was just touched by it because of course we have a flashback with grandpa one of the best characters in the show og grandpa <laughs> and you just you can really see that he understands how she feels completely about that you can you can see it right away that he completely understands how she feels and he's touched by it who wouldn't be you know he's found someone that he can relate with finally and i think that's a good thing for him honestly we've really seen him open up so much over the course of these last couple episodes guys it's kind of crazy he's like he's sl i won't even say slowly getting out of his shell at this point he's probably like halfway out and he's completely touched by it so he's profusely thanking her and <laughs> she actually passes out from it which is pretty funny you know it was i mean what do you do in a situation like that like how do you react especially if you're in an all-girls school and all that and you haven't interacted with anyone the opposite sex it's gonna be overwhelming just imagine you were at like an all-boys school and then all of a sudden like a girl got that personal with you you'd probably freak out and go crazy so it's understandable but we really get like one of the best scenes in this show towards the end of our episode when gojo and marin go to the beach and i gotta say guys like i don't know about you but was like the animation seemed different to you in this episode because it felt a little different to me watching it it felt it felt cleaner it felt more crisp more detailed honestly i just couldn't put my finger on why but i'm pretty sure they did do something different with the animation i think i saw something on twitter about that and that's really cool 
like I've heard this series has gotten like a lot of different animators and directors like new people that haven't done it that are being brought in to do this series and I think that's honestly great it's opening up lots of opportunities for people and it's really showcasing that there's a lot of talented people out there I think that's a wonderful thing but yeah we get arguably our best scene in the whole show so far when they're at the beach and it's boy how do i even start <laughs> how do i even start on this scene because it's a doozy we just get so much development between both of our characters because let me just say they i think the real charm of this series are the characters the animation's good but with most series nowadays you expect the animation to be good you know i think the charm of it is really just the characters and their interactions like gojo and marin bounce off of each other so well they have you would think that they're like oil and water but no they have like so much chemistry together they play off each other so well they complement each other immensely and it's just a real charm to see it just truly puts a smile on your face is all i gotta say and it's just it's an amazing scene just the development between both of them is crazy it's gojo he's never been to the beach and all that before so this is like a new experience for him and you can tell that it means a lot to him. So Marin just flat out says, you know what? It's going to be summer soon. Why don't we just go everywhere together? Just me and you. And I got to say, guys, at this point, they're dating. Let's be real. Like, let's, let, let's keep it a buck, man. They are at this point. They definitely are. Like, they might not know it, but I think everyone around them knows it especially after this episode like you really feel it and even marin at the end was <laughs> captivated by gojo funny enough it's like i said just seeing someone just feel truly happy just really sparks something in you that makes you happy you know and she even had to take a picture of it and i gotta say this was a beautiful scene i thought it was done extremely well and I'm very excited to see where we go from here. Just the quality has only gotten better every episode. It's just kind of wild, honestly. But yeah, you guys let me know in the comments how you felt about this great episode. Like, <laughs> like I don't, I don't know. I, I was lost for words, honestly, for a bit. Watching it, I, it, it took me a, it took me a good like 15, 20 minutes to compile my thoughts, cause. It was a lot like not a lot happened but when something did happen it was like very impactful so i really wanted to i didn't even do a script on this one i just really wanted to just come and sit and talk about it really just rack my brain with you guys about what it is that is so appealing about this series and yeah i'd love to hear how you guys feel about it in the comments if you like the video, leave a like, because you know that would make me like you a lot, you know? I'd love you, even. <laughs> or what does Marin say? I love you? <laughs> hey, hey, you leave a like, you get a heart. What can I say? And yeah, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, because this one was, this one was different. I took a very different approach with this one, and I kind of liked it. You know, I spent a long time doing scripts on all this but just going off the dome today i gotta say i really liked it and just yeah i don't know maybe we'll do this more often in the future but yeah guys that's it for today's video i will see you in the next one i hope you all have a lovely day amazing week and an awesome month until next time deuces